I'm going to have to use my GoPro for this because my camera's broke. But anyway, we've got an update on my Actros. Uh, I've got it up and running. All my cabin parts there in prime stage. And I'm going to be going the same colour scheme as this Scania. With gunmetal grey cab. And then blue right around the skirts and around the bottom and stuff. A uh, big complication in this with it having alloy tanks and not much room was setting up the second steer. So as you can see I've just done a temporary bodge on it for now and I've just bolted the micro servo there and that actually does the job fine so I'm going to go ahead and make a stronger bracket to keep that there. In the future, my gearbox is probably going to be replaced. Um, I need a new prop shaft for here, so it matches this nice shiny one. The radio gear that I've got running at the minute, this is only to, so we can see it. Uh, it's off one of my cars. But I'll be putting a different... ESC and probably a different radio to this, but uh, just so you guys can see. Um, <laughs> I am on the kitchen side here. Um, brought it into my living room instead. I don't want to piss me wife off by running trucks on kitchen side when she just cleaned it. So, uh, oh yeah, this is my next project, <laughs> scan your teacup. But anyway, the Actros, and it's four wheel steering. So as you can see, the turning lock on this is fantastic, it turns really tight, so I'm happy with that. Just need some fine tweaking down here, uh, just some or nothing, so I can get that sorted. Uh, yeah, it's just waiting now for nice weather, get the cab finished up and sprayed, and uh, have that running with my Scania, and then I can get along and we can start on this next project. Uh, Scan your 4 by 2 T-cab. So, thanks for watching, and uh, happy RCing, guys.